Hi, and welcome back to COM 1160. This is the video for week 13. This week, we're going to basically do a course review, and I'm going to tell you about the final assessment. So this week, um, you can choose to watch this video at any time before you complete the final assessment. For next week, the final assessment is to be completed before midnight on December 17th. I'm sorry, I can't go any later than that uh, because I also have some deadlines to get your grades in. Um, so by midnight on December the 17th, you can complete your final assessment whenever you wish. So after you've watched this video, if you would like to complete it in week 13, you can do that, or you can complete it in week 14 up to you and whatever works best for your schedule. Obviously, you're also working on your final draft of your essay. So this week will be pretty busy, both with completing the final draft and either doing or getting ready to do the final assessment. I wanted to tell you about the final assessment so that you know exactly what to expect. It's not an exam in the traditional sense. It really is an in-class assignment. So if we were having this class face-to-face, -face, I would have you in for our final class and you complete the final assessment during class time. You are, of course, able to use all of your notes or any of the handouts that have been provided for the course. The first part is going to be um, some questions about APA format. So in the final assessment, you're going to be asked to paraphrase or direct quote using APA in-text citations. It's almost exactly like your APA number two assignment. So what you might want to do is review your assignment and make sure that you understand all of the errors. If you don't, please come into course chat and we can talk about your APA number two and clear up anything that you might need cleared up before you begin the final assessment. Make sure as well when you're doing this part of the final assessment that you use your cheat sheet. So here are, here's a sample question, okay, of what you might expect on the final assessment. You get a sentence like Siamese cats are known for their playful personalities and high levels of intelligence. Then you'd be told that it's from a book titled Cats Around the World, written by Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in 2017. The instruction would be paraphrase all or part of this sentence using the appropriate in-text citation. So, of course, what you would do is write a sentence paraphrasing this information, um, and then you'd make sure that you have the appropriate APA in-text citation, whether you decided to use the author's name in your sentence or not. The next part is going to be a summarization question, and you're going to be given a full article to read, and you're going to be asked to write a summary. Remember that you did summary writing when you were doing your research file. So again, summaries should follow the recognized strategy, and they should be of a full paragraph, so approximately six to eight sentences. Remember, okay, that summaries also take in-text citations, so you need to do your APA with the summary as well. Not a list of references, but the in-text citations in your actual writing. You're also going to have a question about business writing. And to prepare for this question, you want to review the two strategies, direct and indirect. This question is going to be a critical thinking type question. You're going to be given a sample of business writing, and you're going to need to assess whether it's effective or ineffective. And then you're going to tell me why or why not. You're going to explain whether you think it's effective or whether you think it's ineffective. And you're going to give some reasons for that. Some tips for the final assessment. Remember that this assessment is normally done in class. And when I give this assessment in class, students generally finish within two hours. Do not spend more than three hours on this assessment, okay? So I'm expecting it'll take about two hours, but I don't recommend that you go over three, okay? You want to budget your time. You have a lot of other courses that you're taking that you need to do work for as well. So just set aside some time, okay, to complete this assessment and get it done. There's no traps or tricks in the assignment. Okay, it's really designed to let you show off everything that you've learned in COM 1160. So your APA skills, your summarization skills, your business writing skills, you're going to show all of this off and it really is kind of like the jewel in COM 1160 where you're showing everything that you've learned and all of the skills that you've gained. 
good luck. As the graphic says, be your brilliant self. I also want to extend all my best wishes to you because I know you'll be writing exams and completing projects in other classes. This will be a stressful couple of weeks. Um, so know that uh, I am rooting for you behind the scenes and I hope your end of term goes well. As always, when term is in, I will be available for the course chats. So please feel free to pop in and ask any questions that you may have or seek any kind of clarifications that you may need. I will, of course, be sending a message to say goodbye and wrap things up at the end of the term, but I wanted to express to you what a pleasure it's been to work with you over the course of this term and how very proud I am that you have battled and made it through this particular term. As I said at the beginning, online education isn't easy, but you have proven um, that uh, you're able to face adversity and able to learn under all sorts of strange conditions that we're experiencing during this time of COVID. I know also too that it's a special time of year and many of you will be celebrating holidays and various events. So I wish you all the best for those. Again, as always, if you need anything, please come by the course chat. I will upload the final assessment so that you're able to begin it at any point that you wish. Good luck and I'll talk to you soon.